Tonight, one passenger killed and four others rescued following a horror head-on. A mum's miracle escape from the wreckage of an Olympic Park chopper crash. Family homes up in smoke as roof blazers take hold. Murder charges laid against the young man accused of an airport rampage. And the internationals talk the talk ahead of the Melbourne Cup. This is Nine News with Brett McLeod. Good evening. A woman has died following a shocking head-on crash at Sorrento. Four others have been taken to hospital after two cars collided on Point Nepean Road. Sonia Marinelli is at the scene and joins us now. Sonia, what do police say happened? Good evening, Brett. While the major collision unit is currently on the scene investigating this devastating collision, what we do know is that the female the troops will exit Afghanistan by the end of the year. The entire nation hoping the mates of our fallen diggers return safely. Will McDonald, Nine News. In the news ahead, alcohol blamed for an overnight smash. Wedding plans back on track for Shane and Liz. And the Sunday drive taken to the extreme. Illegal tobacco trade. A hundred smokes for just ten bucks. Why did you sell them to? Because me? I want, I want quick, I want get make money. In a nine news special investigation. They don't ask kids for ID. They're willing to sell this stuff to anyone. The billion dollar drag on taxpayers. I don't think it's against the law. See it first tomorrow on Nine News. A driver is lucky to be alive after his ute slammed into traffic lights in Melbourne's southeast. The vehicle lost control on the corner of North and Jaspers Road at Ormond shortly before half past two in the morning. Police are investigating if alcohol was a factor. Australia's rate of organ donation has improved dramatically in recent years, but official figures show we're still well behind the US and Spain. The race is on to close the gap and work out why some final wishes are not being granted. Ellie Walsh explains. Serene Halawani has no time to waste. She desperately needs the greatest gift of all, a new kidney. Living without the native organ, you really, your life isn't that great. She's one of nearly 1,500 patients. Cricketers' luggage, the couple are said to have moved on and are planning, planning their nuptials. So we can all breathe easy. Time for sport now with Glenn Stanaway. Thanks very much, Brett. Tonight, the latest on the Melbourne Cup. And rivals beware, is this past champ about to pinch it? Also, an Ashes setback as Watson breaks down again. And the soccer goalie who joined a very exclusive club. This sports report proudly brought to you by Toyota Hilux. Unbreakable. Good evening, rival trainers have warned Dunedin could emerge as the surprise horse of the Melbourne Cup despite carrying the top weight. But for now, connections of the former winner are more than happy to fly under the radar. Ayrton Woolley has the latest. Under the watchful eye of French trainer Mikel Delzongle, just a light run for Dunedin, the aim to keep him fresh for Tuesday. He runs well fresh like last year. He ran, he ran the Caulfield Cup fresh and, you know, I think was his best performance ever. On her bike, the Olympic champion seen here in blue, finishing just out of the medals in the women's sprint at the World Track Championships. No doubt about it, great to see our golden girl back. Absolutely, That's thanks sport. Clint. And the weather is next and it's a safe bet that we're on track for a fine cup day. I'll have all those details after the break. This weather report brought to you by the new compact SUV from Holden. Uncover new tracks at your Holden dealer today. Tonight, it could obliterate an entire city. So all of this will be wiped yeah, off the map, and it's not in the evacuation no, zone. There is no emergency plan. The most dangerous volcano on Earth. The volcano is, is uh, active. And it's overdue for its most devastating eruption yet. Naples will be completely devastated. Gone. Gone. That's tonight at 8.30. Back to you. Well, almost a complete turnaround for our weather today. Back to strong, gusty southwesterlies with an overnight low of 13 and a top of 18. For the rest of the state, it stayed fine in the north, up to 25 at Mildura. The cold front that brought the change moved through to the Tasman, leaving us in that cool, moist southwesterly. An area of showers over central and southeastern districts. Morning frost in the north, then sunny. 
In the suburbs, another cool day, just 15 at Frankston and 16 for Scoresby. Here in Melbourne, we could have an early shower or two, but clearing during the morning. After a low of 10, it won't go much higher than 17. And for Cup Day, fine and sunny, a low of 7 to a very pleasant top of 24, warmer on Wednesday and 28, and isolated showers of Thursday, rain on Friday. And that's Nine's news for this Sunday. Have a great evening, and for now, good night.